Hey, what's going on YouTube land? Hope all is good. Um, back in about 2009 or so, I went to uh, Costco and I saw a movie sitting on the shelf there, or on the rack, the table, I guess you could say. And uh, it, was a, it was a DVD cover with a guy sitting on a bus, on top of it, a roof of a bus, and the movie said Into the Wild. I had never heard of this movie before, didn't know it was a true story, didn't know there was a book about it, nothing, right? So I said, let me buy it, looks good, let me take it home. Got home, unwrapped it, put it on my DVD player, watched it. It was probably one of the greatest movies I've ever seen in my entire, entire life. Um, and I've watched it probably a hundred times since then, and a decade later, we're gonna go check out Chris McCandless' home. We're gonna check out all three schools he went to, high school, middle school, and elementary school. And uh, I included a little movie theater across the street and you'll, uh, you'll notice why I crossed the street from his high school. And um, it's probably one of his old stomping grounds. Um, I grew up in that area, so I knew there was a movie theater there back in the 1980s. So let's go on this adventure together, guys. Let's go check things out. And uh, hope you enjoy it. So this here, this is Woodson High School. This is where uh, Chris McCandless, Alexander Supertramp went to high school right here. Um, from the years of 83 to 86, or fall 82 to 83, uh, 86, and he was a big time cross country uh, runner here. Um, I don't, I'm looking at the, they have the sports, the state champions. I don't see anything for cross country in, eight, in like the time when he was here. So I'm sure it's there somewhere, just probably behind the buses. <clears throat> yeah, this is where he went. I mean, this high school has been here for a long, long time. So this shopping center here is uh, most likely one of his stomp stomping grounds, uh, and it is across the street from his high school, Woodson High School, and there's a movie theater here, as you can see here, and um, I'm sure he came to the movies here, but what's what I thought of just now is, you know, in the early 80s, if he came up here to see Fast Times at Ridgemont High, and he walked out of the theater, and someone came up to him and said, you know that guy Jeff Spicoli? He's going to make a movie about your life one day. What would Chris say? That would be quite interesting, wouldn't it? Let me know your thoughts on that one. So this school here is, this is Robert Frost Middle School. Let's take a walk here. And this school here is where he went from uh, in the years of 1981 and 1982. Um, Oh, this train the way. Yeah, this is where he went from. Uh, this is where he went to middle school in 1981 and 1982. It's called Robert Frost Middle School. Um, not much history about this school here, but um, this is just down the street from his uh, his high school, Woodson. It's actually right behind it, believe it or not, in uh, Fairfax, Virginia. Um, Yeah, I think he's, he was running track here and cross country here also. That's what I heard from somebody else. Um, so he was a big time runner, cross country guy. So we're walking down to his, uh, his elementary school right now. A place called Canterbury Woods Elementary School. And uh, this is where he went. 
when he was a kid and uh, apparently his dad put him in some gifted program because he was really, really smart and he hated it because he, he had to work too hard. So, uh, yeah, this right here is the, uh, this is elementary school. Canterbury Woods Elementary School, right here. I know it's a lot of trees here, but I don't want to walk on the school property, but you get the idea. That's his uh, little elementary school right over there, his grammar school. So I'm walking up the street right now. This is the, uh, this is the creme de la creme of this uh, video. This is going to be his childhood home, the house where he grew up. And uh, he lived here from, I think, 71 to, I think it was 1971. Maybe I'm wrong about that. But I know he, he lived here all the way to uh, when, he, when he left high school in 1986. And right before he graduated from high school, he got this yellow Datsun that you did see in the movie Into the Wild. That not, not the same car, but the same model, obviously. And uh, he drove it all across the country in his senior year of high school, uh, when he graduated high school, the summer afterwards. And uh, he, um, he came back two days before he left for college. And according to, some, according to his notes, that changed. And that's where he learned about his dad having a second family. Oh, these are the streets he walked quite a bit as a kid. And here it is, folks. The house right here. Chris McCandless's childhood home. I wonder if the people who live there know that, that is his childhood home. Oh, if those walls could talk. If those walls could talk. So we're going to continue walking up the street here. And I'll get another shot of the house when I walk down, but I just want, I don't want to stand in front of the house and stare at it, you know, with a camera. But anyway, there was one story I know. He left his house when he was really young. He just started walking up these streets here, these neighborhood streets here. And uh, he was caught in one of the neighbor's houses. Don't know which one, but it's got to be one of these here. Digging through their candy jar. He was like four or five years old. He was always a bit of a nomad. You know, he always uh, loved adventure. Walking up and down these streets and going on hikes in the mountains and all that. And um, just uh, just being free, you know? that's That was his whole thing. He loved freedom. He absolutely loved freedom. That's, this is the neighbor here, guys. This is where Chris McCandless grew up. So now we're on the other side of the street. I'll get another shot of the house. Yeah, that yellow Datsun, it was, uh, he, uh, he loved that thing. And remember in the movie, Into the Wild, he uh, kind of had to abandon it in uh, Arizona somewhere. Took the license plates off and threw them in the dumpster. That's where he burned his money. But yeah, it drove through these neighborhoods plenty of times. Plenty, plenty, plenty of times it drove through that neighborhood. Or this neighborhood, I must say. There's the house again, right there. His dad worked for NASA, I think. He, he was a, something that had to do with uh, space engineering. And you think he would live in some huge house, but no, they, was, they were pretty modest people. Very modest people. They don't live there anymore. But, yeah, that's where uh, Chris McCandless grew up. And like I said before, I wonder if the people who live in the house now know that a movie was made about the guy who grew up there. So just cruising through Chris, Chris's neighborhood right now in my car here, and uh, just looking around at things here and um, the stuff I showed you before. And uh, I know when he was in high school, he would, um, on his cross country treks, like his practices, the guys would go out and they would literally get lost somewhere and they would get their bearings and they would haul ass back to the school. 
And it was kind of like the way he did it in Into the Wild, you know? I mean, he would literally want to get lost, find his bearings, and find his way back to the bus. And uh, that took a lot of courage, you know? It took a lot of... Uh, a lot of emotions, a lot of courage. It was um, it was something that people don't do these days, you know. They uh, um, he had a lot of courage and he loved freedom, and uh, he just um, he was an ins- inspirational guy. I mean, he inspired a lot of people, and uh, and I think basically, what he if he came back, if he made it past that river coming home, I think his motto would be, um, don't do what I did, you know, if you want to do it, learn the ropes, um, and uh, get your education, basically, your your uh, education in the, um, in the field of how to do this kind of stuff, you know, read, read more books than I did. Um, and I, I don't know, he probably, I don't know if he made it past that river, who knows what would have, what would have happened? You know, if he, if he got out of there, would, would, would I be doing this video? Would, uh, would a book be written about him? Would a movie be made about him? What would, what would, what would happen? You know, personally, I don't think so. I think, uh, kind of like these guys who pass away at a young age, they, um, they become legends in their own time. I mean, like Buddy Holly and uh, Richie Valens and the Big Bopper. I mean, if they didn't die in that plane crash, would they be legends? I, I personally, I don't think so. So, uh, that's, uh, that's, I think that's how it stands. I don't think, be, I don't think I'd be doing this video right now if he were alive, personally. But who knows, who knows, who knows, who knows? <laughs> child I know You're hurt and you can't let go It's not your fault and you don't deserve All the bad and the hurt Ooh, I know you tried so hard I know you've done your part It's not fair You did your time How much longer will you suffer in this life? But don't give up Just hold on tight It'll be alright Your life you've tried to be a good man.